right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about in the end, man. So make sure y'all like the video and comment anything down below, or just whatever y'all want to comment down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, if we can average 8K views, we're giving away a next day, a next gen console, $500 or a PC something like that laptop anything like that number two the people trying to tell y'all that i got my um they're trying to tell y'all that i'm putting my phone number down there in the comment section that's not happening i don't got my phone number down there i'm not on uh telegram i'm on instagram twitter and uh now recently we are now on tiki Taki. man we only got 11 followers on tiki Taki, man can y'all go over there and make sure y'all follow that up link down in the description man y'all doing a piss poor job of following me on TikTok right now and as y'all know Proper perform, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. So go over there and prepare, <laughs> just prepare all that, man, and get that done. Last but not least, man, also make sure y'all like the video, comment, share, do all that good stuff for your chance to win uh, 50 bucks and uh, 50 bucks in VC, Cash App, or uh, you know whatever y'all want. I might get you a video game of your choice. Uh, all that is. Uh, just, oh, you can do all of that just by commenting on the video and liking the video. Maybe I should do a TikTok only giveaway, man, and be like, shoot, y'all go over there and like, a, you know, whoever follow me on TikTok, I'm gonna choose the winner uh, from the TikTok, TikTok or something like that. Y'all let me know if y'all if y'all want me to do that, man, because you'll have a better chance because uh, we're trying to get it up to a thousand so we can get streaming over there, man. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there, 2K land, man. Listen to me, man. Hey, man, we got some good stuff today. Um, Really a pretty short show, uh, but we're going to start off with the good vibes from Nate Exy. Can't believe I'm saying it, but that boy Nate Exy out there putting the good vibes out there. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Here we go with the don't, what he said, don't let a bad day make you feel like you got a bad life. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. Hey, that's how it go, man. Sometimes as human beings, we only focus on the bad, but that's how we train to do. That's just, that's biologically how we are. We focus on the bad things because when the stuff that's happening happens like it's supposed to happen, then you don't even worry about it. But when things don't happen the way they're supposed to, we constantly try to figure out what we could have done better and why that happened right there. And you always feel like it's only happening to you. It ain't just you, baby. Hey, we, we all blessed to be here. We alive and we well and happy. And, and you know, we can do what we can do, man. So, hey, as long as you're here, you got a chance to make it better. Let's let's do that, man. Let's let's keep on pushing and keep on doing that. My guy, J.A. Bridge for this is, this is how we should be treating 2K right here. He says, when you don't take 2K seriously, it's more fun to play this game this game uh jokes anyways so my so might as well laugh and have fun and that's how i do it man i don't i don't sit here and uh, i think that's why i'm still having fun with the game and um i think that's why i'm, I'm still having fun with the game and I, and I don't really take it as seriously and like everybody else is just like yo this is bad blah 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 yakety smack and i just don't care because i'm just out there running around having fun just just trying to get some steals and play some good defense and be a nuisance that's what i'm trying to do man so you know uh you know it, that that that's me. I think if more people did that, we might all have a lot more fun. But you know, like I said, the 2K community, we just want to win and expose and win and expose. And I'm the only one doing this. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is, man. And you know, we would want to tell them, shut the f up, shut the f up, bro. Let's just have fun and have game. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? We having fun with the game, or you know, and maybe it's part partly 2K that's to, to blame because you know they gotta have a game that we have can have fun with. We have fun with the game. I think everything gonna be cool. The rest take care of itself. Up next, we got that boy Nate. Nate X is saying people gotta realize what I've been through, and you know he just talk about the things he's been through over the last five years. A lot of the stuff. Hey, you know what I mean? He brought it on himself in some cases. Some cases, it's people just piling on or what have you. It's not like somebody just did. But hey, the the key is he learned from it. Changed a lot of his ways, fought his way back to Twitch. And, uh, you know, he, he's doing his thing now, man. And that's the main thing about it, that there's always, like I said, if you can get up tomorrow and figure it out, you can always figure it out on tomorrow as long as you're here, man. So, hey, good for him, man. And like I said, bro, ain't nobody taking people, people from platform to platform to other platform to other platform. Ain't nobody have people following him everywhere like Nate. This dude's on like Trovo and D Live still pulling a grand and stuff like that. Let somebody else go to one of these just completely unknown joints and think they're gonna pull something like that, bro. Yeah, hey, it, it, it's tough, man. But like he said though, uh back in the day, you know, and he he always admitted he said, hey listen man, I, I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of dumb shit. And, uh, you know, I learned from it. I was young, and uh, you know, you come back from it. As long as you own it and you try to move on from it, man, that's that's all that's all to it. 
um you know like you said you bring it on if you bring stuff on yourself and you can turn it around then hey i'm with you on that bro so do your thing continue to do your thing keep grinding keep growing on twitch and keep uh you know growing you know doing everything you're trying to do man hope everything that you are looking for hope it all come to you and uh you know everybody do do what they uh duzzle in this whole thing that boy ej he's still back at it again boy with the whole cause it's like the community i don't i don't know how i feel about this man y'all let me know what y'all think he says it's okay <laughs> like i don't know what the I'm looking to looking for the validate i guess it's a 2k thing man it says it's okay for the it's okay if the 2k community never give me my flowers for doing something big that has never been done in the community before i still continue to wake up uh them i still continue to wake up the minds of the creators and uh, that are trapped in the matrix and so nay said motor streaming has always been a thing but streaming to three platforms at the same time hasn't been a thing hasn't been done before in the community uh that's for sure not even well i, I beg to differ with that but not 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 even that but the acquiring such numbers on all three platforms combined is an amazing achievement but the matrix stuff y'all gotta leave that in 2020 exactly that's how i feel about that and then Pla hey, the boy og phantoms phantoms just says dude everybody everyone appreciates everybody appreciates your grind but why do you always feel the need need uh need to need validation from other people uh you always you always tweeting about how well you're doing we're happy for you and we genuinely are we want we want you to know that but but stop seeking validation from other people all the time. That's what I was saying yesterday, bro. I was like, yo, if I'm doing my thing and I'm getting busy, just I'm just gonna do my thing and get busy, man. I mean, I don't need validation from nobody. I done helped tons of people. Like I said, me and Snacks have created a few millionaires in this YouTube. Thing. Bro, you don't see me beating my chest. Like, 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 do your thing, keep going. People ask me for help all the time. I help them out all the time. Stream set up, stream doing this, doing that, how to multi-stream, all that good stuff. And hey, yo, yo, do your thing. I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I just don't, I, 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 I don't know, man. Maybe it's a different generation or whatever, but if that's what keeps him motivated and keeps him pushing forward and you have to use the whole, ain't nobody, everybody counted me out type of thing to keep yourself motivated. Hey, more power to you, motivated, bro. My, my, hey, more power to you. Whatever it takes to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself going and get you up in the morning, as long as you ain't hurt nobody, uh, do your thing. Hey, dude said, <laughs> then the people, then, then, then now, now I kind of understand what he's saying, because then the hate come in. He says, uh, you didn't do anything, <laughs> you didn't do anything to deserve your flowers. Bigger content creators made you, and that's uh, made you, that's their clout you have. You didn't do it by yourself. And then uh, lastly come in and say 100K Bandit made made this man, but he did push, I mean, 100K Bandit made this man LOL, but he did push his own wave and ha and uh, as well after that. Uh, that's true. Hey, I, I agree with that, man. Like, it doesn't matter what if what happens, somebody give you a, a leg up or whatever, it doesn't matter if you're not entertaining. If you're not entertaining and people don't gravitate towards you, it doesn't matter who gives you a leg up or who helps you out. It's not gonna matter. It's all up to you. So uh, that is, that's a big, that's, that's a big truth on that. He says true, but he still thinks that he's the main character doing things in the community and, uh, then last to come back said we all know that Mo Buckets is the is the current head of the 2K community and that's the truth. Uh, used used to be Nade, uh, but he hardly streams it anymore, and he does hardly stream. And then dude says true. That, who is that? Was that Ziggly Wiggly? That is Ziggly. That, oh, Ziggly Wiggly. Hey, whatever. And he said he said, hey, keep doing you, f him. That's how I feel about it, bro. Just keep doing you, do your thing. And then that boy last that came through and dropped the bombshell. Hey, that boy said, bro, are you dumb? Jay Easy been multi streaming for years. You didn't start nothing. But yeah, I have been multi streaming for years. I probably was one of the first people, but to do it or whatever. But I ain't pulling no numbers or none of that stuff like that I, and the reason only reason that i'm multi-stream and i try to multi i try to multiply across things because i know i don't have the amount of time that everybody else has to to put into it so knowing that i only got a little bit of time to put into it i know i have to maximize my stuff i don't get that much views i don't have that much time to do it so you know the little couple of hours a day i gotta push i gotta push sorry about that on the mic gotta push myself across everything and just hope that uh hope that i can capture some artists and that's why we're doing the ticket jockeys but so it is what it is and and like a hey, power says 2k ain't dead hey that boy says hey he got a 50 game win streak man them boys be hating on power they just say hey you know whatever i can do better then that boy iq contain says peaked at 700 viewers on ticket talking and 300 on twitch last night hey let's go man hey listen man if you can do your thing and uh you know what i'm saying like you and and um if you can do your thing and it's actually working for you man keep doing your thing 
because it's working for you. That's what I say about that. Hey, EJ says, I made the community believe in multi streaming when everybody was trapped in the matrix. I pulled a car from the back, <laughs> the back of their heads and woke them up. I set the blueprint, uh, not just for me, but for the future generations of the 2K community. All right, now listen, listen, EJ, I'm going to ask you a question then. I mean, I'm just, this is being real right here. I'm just 100% real. You said you waking people up from the Matrix, but you ain't told nobody how to get that key, Playboy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just, hey, I'm just, hey, hey, don't, don't slap me. Just that you ain't telling nobody how to get that key. You ain't helping nobody get them keys. You ain't, or maybe you are. I don't know. And those are the things that you're not putting out there to the public. But I would think that those would be the stuff that you would want to put out there to the public more than, more than just being like, I'm the only one doing it. Of course you're the only one doing it. You're the only one that got the key. But hey, tell them boys how to get them keys and really put the community on. That's what I'm saying. Or just keep doing what you're doing. And, hey, and, and, and or not, because no, you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is just keep doing what you're doing. You don't have to do nothing. If somebody asks you, and maybe they haven't asked you how to get them and stuff like that, I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, like they said, bro, like you, you really putting the community on, hey, Tell them, boy, I got the keys, keys, keys. Show them, boy, how to get them keys, man. And then, yeah, if they don't do it from there, then you really woke them up from the Matrix. And uh, they didn't. But you can't just say, hey, this is, this. there's a lake over there that we about to fish in. And you ain't tell nobody how to get to the lake. And they ain't never heard of a lake before. They don't even know what a lake is. You know, I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being cynical or whatever. I am being cynical. I'm just being funny. It is what it is. Hey, that boy says, that boy Nate X came back and said, thank you for wanting to help people grow. Set the example. I'm proud of you for becoming. Hey, so, hey, it is what it is. And, uh... <laughs> At last to come back and say this guy acting like he better than everybody. I don't think he acting like he better than everybody. I just think, like I said, I think that some people. Do uh, you draw? We all draw motivation from different places. So I draw, I draw motivation from within, and he just appears to be one of those guys. He's just like, this is how he motivates himself. It says, I'm doing it. I'm getting it done. I'm blah 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 blah. Whatever. Like for me, I just go to the gym and lift and. I don't have to be like, yo, I'm out here busting my behind, blah, blah, blah. But some people do draw motivation from that. And if that's what he's drawing the motivation from, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Last but not least, man, we're going to talk about this one thing somebody was telling saying yesterday about the, we're talking about the slashing badges and finishing badges and stuff like that. And we're talking about how the, how the, um, how our, you know, the defensive badges don't seem to work. But then one guy was like, well, if my dunking is higher than your blocking or your interior stuff, then I'm, or, you know, what's supposed to happen. And I've thought about that, but I'm like, but people, I would say that I would agree with you, but people routinely dunk on centers. And I think just about every center out there got 99 block and like 95 interior, 90 plus. And you can't tell me that everybody that's dunking on them is getting, has those, uh, has those same type of stats, bro. And I'm just looking at this, bro. We looking at these finishing badges and how disgusting they are, bro. We just gonna look at this real quick and keep and keep it pushing, bro. Uh, because I mean, when you really look at how disgusting they are, it is disgusting. Area wizard. Bro, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much put back king and stuff like that. That definitely works. Back down punisher. You can just punish people if you got that on, bro. I don't know if you want to really dedicate stuff to it, but you can really, really, really do that if you want to. Dream shake, nobody uses that. I'm pretty sure it does work, but we don't know. Drop step, here come the drop step uh, murder. We know that that works right there. It, it, it works, it'll get you out the way of the kill you. Giant Slayer, them little dudes be using that joint and just destroying people. Master improves the ability to finish well a uh, while uh, hold up. finish well around the rim especially over smaller defenders we know that works right there post spin technician a lot of people use that especially when you cheese it with the uh 99 post control and um you know so you can have the unpluckable and stuff we know that works we know acrobat is just completely ridiculous that that the power of acrobat i showed y'all that with i got a 60 layup and i'll be going in there using that joint man and it's crazy fast twitch we know that works fearless finisher we know that works pro touch we i showed y'all how broken that was and limitless takeoff and the worst uh, the worst, best ba badge in the game, the most effective, effective, uh, slithery. I don't know why they ain't got posterizer up there or whatever like that, bro. But we know that slithery, posterizer, and limitless takeoff, all that together, that makes a cocktail where you just really can't stop nobody. So the, the point that I was trying to make, I wasn't trying to go at, dude, but I was just saying, like, why do we need everything in the world, all these badges, all these statistics, and all of that to try to stop somebody on offense? But... Slashing is just, it's just OP. 
as all get out. I see why people are rim running. I see why they're going to the rim. You got every badge in the game, and then when you're gonna miss the dunk, you can double tap, and then you can acrobat it in. Bro, I got acrobat on bronze. I can get it on silver. I just got it on bronze, and I, I just I, I go in there, and I can literally go in there and double tap. I'm gonna hit that thing almost every time with a, with uh with the 60 layup. So. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. It, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough sledding out there like we say in the football world, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I don't care that slashing is overpowered. As long as you can't just shoot in people's faces, I'm cool with it. But slashing, I mean, it makes the game fun. It makes people want to play the game. We know that most people that, that play this game aren't very skilled at it, and that's all they know how to do is get on that rim. Oh, rim, rim. Oh, that rim for me. That we know that's all they know how to do is get on that rim. I don't care because I be sitting there cheering Bruno on and T on and everybody tell, hey, get on that rim, man. That's what I tell them. So, you know, it's fun to dunk, man. Let's just get it. Let's just keep it a thou wow. It's fun to dunk. That's why I put out the video, the best dunk packages for people that can't really dunk and it's doing well. It's fun to dunk. I'm glad that the game is like that. I'm just, and, and you know what I'm saying? And and I, I'm glad that the game is like that. It's fun to watch. It's fun to do. And, um, you know, the only thing is, like, I just wish that you could slow them down a little bit, like when they was out of out of adrenaline, that you had more of a chance. But you don't. It just is what it is. Anyway, and then you see me getting on the rim right there, man. I mean, it's fun. It is what it is. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is slashing overpowered, or you think it's in a good place? I mean, I think it's cool, man. I think it's in a good place. You can, you can, I wish that there were more times when you could stop somebody, but... Uh, and, so, and the times that you think that you should stop somebody, you really can't. But, hey, it is what it is, man. It makes the game fun. It makes uh, the people that aren't very skilled at it, they can have a lot of fun. And then uh, the people like us, you know, that, that got the regular point guards, they can just completely abuse it and use it to make you back up off of them. They can shoot threes. So, hey, we using an eye strategy. You got to figure out a way to play defense on it. And uh, I think that's what we probably going to have to do is just learn how to play defense more. Uh, just, you know, learn how to play defense on stuff. And uh, figure out how to figure out how to stop it instead of just complaining about it, man. Maybe that's what we got to do, man. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Follow me on Tiki Taki, and I'm out. Peace. Guys, please.